So, how are we guys and ladies? It's a beautiful, beautiful summer's day here in the UK. And I'm actually somewhere very, very exciting and all will come clear very soon. I'm just about to meet Tom from Back Garden Bushcraft and his good brother, Sam. I've never met Sam before, so I can't wait to introduce you to him and also this very special location that I'm at. And there he is, a very welcome and friendly face walking up. Hi mate. Hi. How are you doing Tom? Oh, I'm very, very good, thanks Steve. Yeah, oh, it's been too long. Welcome. <laughs> Go on, do you want to explain where we are? My woodland! Hey! <laughs> Amazing. Come on in. I will. <laughs> and there is Sam, Tom's brother. How are you doing yeah. buddy? Yeah, good. Good, thanks good you. to meet you finally. <laughs> Got some food on already. Bro, Ooh, you yeah. should be so proud. I am glowing. <laughs> we'll have to do a little tour very soon, won't we? Definitely, bro, yeah. And for sure. uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this backpack off, get set up, and I can't wait, bro. First oh, camp. It's <laughs> first camp in this woods. So I'm just beyond excited. I can't believe it. <laughs> you look at that. So you've just had an amazing lunch. Thank you, you two. You're that was really nice to arrive to. And yeah, we're gonna have a little explore around this wonderful wood, as you can see. It's loads of hornbeam, ash, poplar. I think Tom said he's got one oak over there. My favorite. Hey, <laughs> it's beautiful. We'll have a little explore in a sec, eh? Hey? Yeah, I'll take you around. Awesome. Because it's part of a larger wood, my uh, 2.7, I think it is, acres feels a lot bigger because there's just woods all around it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's massive. It's beautiful. Mate, this is literally like my childhood dream come true. I like, can imagine. <laughs> it's been a lot behind the scenes of me securing this and yeah, I'm yeah, proud has. to call it mine. <laughs> you should be, man. This beautiful spot. Lovely. And that light just dappling through. This ash and hornbeam. Tom was just showing me a fuse together as they've grown, which is quite incredible. How's it feel to own a wood, Tom? Pretty special. <laughs> yeah. Like. I can't really put it to words, bro, to be honest. <laughs> no, honestly, mate. It's amazing. And I can tell you, hands down, it's been like Tom's dream for such a long time, as it's like all bushcrafters dreams. So to <laughs> share this with you, dude, like at this first camp, it's amazing. Oh, and mate. thank you for the invite, honestly. No, of course. I mean, <laughs> it was right, wasn't it, really, yeah. that you yeah. came down well, <laughs> for this, you know, this momentous occasion of what this is. It's just, <laughs> it's so nice. Tom's been showing me the rope, showing me his boundaries, and it's just the perfect size. It's got everything you could wish for here, loads of different habitats, Deadwood Central, it's perfect isn't it? You're going to have a, a good task managing it. Oh yeah, well we've seen, uh, we found some fox runs earlier, we've seen deer scat. Me and Sam actually saw a deer when we pulled up in the car earlier, saying, that's awesome. running down the track. Um, so there's obviously wildlife here. And, seen some uh, water mint, didn't we? Just saw some Yeah, found well. some water mint, some pendulous sedge. So yeah. Good little there's forage loads, yours. loads to discover here. Absolutely, <laughs> I can't wait for the journey. Let's get this camp set up, hey? Let's do it, bro. Yeah, dude. Some of your very own crampos. Yeah, got your... some Dowdinia concentrica on a bit of dead ash. Yeah, buddy.
So I've actually got the Thornhill Lavoo with me today. I've been loving this thing. Ellie has as well. It's just been a really good investment. It's such a great big shelter and I know Tom wanted to see it. Um, being a big Thornhill fan, aren't you, mate? Oh, absolutely. So you've got your Thornhill 3x3. Like I said, I've got this, the Lavoo. I'm going to get this set up and I'll show you Tom's set up. We're going to all be surrounding the fire pit, which Tom's got in a little raised fireball. And it's just so nice. Lovely, lovely day. You can see the sun going down on me. It's going to be really nice having my opening here. So actually guys, when I was putting up my ridge line there, it really hurt my hands because as you can probably see, a little bit pink. That's because I'm on doxycycline at the moment, which is an antibiotic, and it's made me have a phototoxic reaction to the sun. And being a redhead, that's no good because I'm already allergic to the sun basically. Um, so it's really, really painful on my hands and my nose and my ears. I've been wearing Factor 50 sun cream, but that rope chafing there is really, agitated it so uh, yeah I've got a little bit of cream in the hands uh, I've got a little bit of cream in the truck so I'm gonna go put some of that on just to try and reduce some of this inflammation but I'll go into detail a little bit later about why I'm on doxycycline and that's because of a tick bite from when I was actually skinning and gralicking a deer up um, so yeah like I said I'll go into that a bit later but I've just got the Lavu all strung up on the ridge line I'm going to peg it out now and I'll see you when it's all done. So I've got my Lavoo all set up now on a ridge line. It's a little bit lower than I had it at the bushcraft show, but it's fine. I've got some nice coverage then in case the weather comes in, I can move further back. Tom's got his 3x3 three three in a similar setup. So we're both rocking Thornhill gear and Sam's got his DD and a power point there as well. And he's been busy splitting up some firewood. So ready to keep that fire rocking. And it is absolutely kicking out the heat as well. So it's beautiful. I can't wait to just enjoy the rest of the day. We've got a few things that we're gonna be showing you guys, having a little play with. So I will see you when we get those out. I like your setup, dude. Thank you. Well, I had a bit of limited space to get this nice sort of area around the fire with you guys. So I've made my three by three smaller into a little sort of pyramid. Yeah, um, I love Lavu it. Style. But I've actually folded it in a sort of origami way. So I can sort of have a ground sheet yeah, beautiful. from the top. Works I mean, well. I have a poncho as well, but I don't really need it with that. <laughs> no, I'm going to get the poncho out as well actually now. Get all my sleeping kit set up. It's important that, isn't it, Liam, to <laughs> smile on demand. That's it. No matter what happens. Always smiling. Oh, let me go in one. So we've got all our tarps set up now. Really cozy little setup. It's wonderful to be here. So yeah, I hope all you guys have been good. It's been a little bit busy for me actually. Uh, the Wild and Us Festival just happened a few weeks ago and a massive thank you to everyone who came along. It was so great to meet all of you guys, new and old followers, and all of those who came to my deer butchery as well. Thank you so much. That went really well and it was a big, big highlight of my weekend. As is this weekend, obviously, spending some time with Tom before him and his brother go to Vegas. Um, Sam is actually gonna be heading to Thailand for traveling for a year. So although it's my first time meeting him, it's gonna be a real nice send off as well, both for him and for Tom. And it's just special moments like this that keep bringing me back to bushcraft. It's so nice and it keeps my mental health 
really good and fresh and uh, yeah it's just nice to be out in the woods again it seems like it's been a little while since I've actually been out um, I'm gonna get some little camps coming up but I've really been busy on the truck so I'm excited to show you some of that progress um, it's gonna bring me on some new travels and adventures in the future and things are moving on for Primal Nomad um, not on I'm not stopping anything but just moving upwards and onwards so I'm going to be focusing on some longer kind of format content soon um, so I hope you do enjoy that like I said some Navara stuff some bushcraft stuff and some just kind of documentary style things so loads of stuff in the pipelines and yeah just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you guys for watching and subscribing and like I said before we're going to do some awesome stuff on this little camp so I can't wait to show you we're going to get one of those bits out now and start plinking away. So like I said about the truck, I'm actually going to go and show Tom and his brother some of the things that I've been doing to the truck and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you. So then any of you guys who are into kind of overlanding or van life or anything or just wants to see this in the future knows what's coming up. I've been doing loads of stuff like the head gasket you've just seen obviously um, but in between that before the head gasket failed I'd actually completely underbody sealed the car and I did an immense amount of work to protect it from the inevitable rust. So that stuff will be coming out soon as well. But she does look good in amongst the trees, I must say. So as you can see guys, I've got a whole board of electronics there on the side of the back of the truck and a little screen here. I'll do a video on all of this in the future, but I've now got a full 12 volt split charge system in the truck and obviously for overlanding trips and longer expeditions that makes all the world a difference even having a little light up there is so helpful and that's just going to allow me to film charge my batteries on the go so really really exciting it's something i've been wanting to do for ages and it's the first time i've had an opportunity to show tom uh, it's pretty exciting obviously first time i've had to show you guys since doing it all and a big thanks to pete Mad for Outdoors for helping out with that. His carpentry skills really came into their own, especially with finishing these drawers off, which again, I'll show you in the future. But there's some full drawers there, which go all the way back and I can keep all my bits and pieces in it when I go on expeditions. But anyway, enough about the truck. That stuff will be coming out in the future. I'm gonna get something out of the truck now that you guys are gonna be really excited to see. And that is the 2-2 air rifle. And it's actually got a little surprise on there, which is a night vision scope from one leaf. And I'm really excited to show you that, test it out here in an environment where I can use it. So me and Tom are gonna have a little practice, but this is my BSA Ultra. Really excited to get this out and have a little plink in this woodland. What do you reckon, dude? It's a gorgeous piece, bro. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I've got to show you mine as well, because I yeah. bought my gun. Um, this is more compact than mine and lighter. And I guess because you got the PCP. Yeah, silent. Yeah. <laughs> it's deadly. Awesome. Yeah, boy. A little bolt action going hey, on. Yeah, hey. boy. Let's have a little plink, eh? Yeah, boy. Cheese. So this is the sight, and it's made by One Leaf. It's a night vision sight, and it does have a capability of doing normal video recording, taking pictures. So you don't have to use it as a night vision scope, which is amazing. I'm not going to do a full review on it this trip, but I will be using it, so I'll include some of the clips of me using it and having a little fire, because I need to have a little proper play around with it before I do anything out on targets or on prey, maybe some rabbits or squirrels. But if I have got this set up and we do see some small game, with this being Tom's wood, we have permission to take some. So as part of the management plan, grey squirrels are on the list. So. We will go for them if we do see them and I'll try and get some clips of using it. But it's a really, really nice bit of kit. Fits right onto the scope using an adapter mount. And like I said, I'll go through all the features in another video, but it is gonna make a world of difference to nighttime shooting. So I've kept calling this the BSA Ultra, but it's actually my R10. And that's because I traded in my BSA Ultra for this beautiful rifle. 
So I'm going to have a shot now with Tom. I'm going to show you Tom's and then, uh, yeah, let's get on. So we're shooting at that target off in the distance there. It's a little trap target for air rifles, so it catches all the pellets. So I'm using Exact Jumbo Express, these Diablos, they're beautiful 2-2 calibers. Really, really nice, about 14 and 0.3 grains, so perfect for taking some game. So if we see anything, game's on. So unfortunately the audio disappeared from these sections as it filmed in slow motion so I've had to speed up this section so bear with me with a little bit of music until the evening of this camp and I do apologise for the lost content. So I also wanted to show you a new knife that I picked up at the Wild and Us Festival. This is the Kiridashi and it's by Wildaways, Wildaway Bushcraft and it's made out of AEBL stainless steel. It has this lovely Kydex sheath and it's really really nice. It's got a lovely micarta red handle which means it's perfect visibility when I'm deer stalking. And it's actually really unique because it's got this single bevel. So it's beveled on one side and it makes it incredibly useful for things like skinning, feather sticks, and it's just a really lovely, well-made tool. It's extremely sharp and because it's AEBL stainless steel, I don't have to worry about it rusting or anything. So again, perfect for when I'm out on the trail. But I just wanted to show you that it's my one tool option for this trip. I'm so excited to dig into this, Tom. Looks good, doesn't it? Literally. So guys, I've got my plate of food here, which is very, very exciting. I'm so, so happy. I've got a steak, thank you so much, Tom. Yep. Welcome, mate. Just gonna dig in quickly. Not much flame, but... Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. More ones. So tasty. When I just say, mm-hmm, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like, good. Everyone shut up, I'm eating. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what you tend to do? It's perfect. Well, guys, I think that about says it all. The plate is absolutely clean. So, dinner was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Tom. You're welcome, mate. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was so, so good, honestly. <laughs> I can't begin to explain that like, the plate is absolutely wiped clean. Went for seconds and everything. So I'm about ready to get into bed. I'm gonna blow up the air mat and then get into the sleeping bag. So I will catch you guys in the morning. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far today. I've really certainly enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll see you then. Take care. So we're just finishing off the evening with some s'mores by the fire. Toasting these marshmallows. Really nice evening, thank you boys. No, it's been Cheers, great. man. What a way to spend the first night in this woods. Yeah, so, so nice. And we've got some chocolate digestives to put these marshmallows in, in the traditional s'more style. I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> I've got my digestive there. I'm gonna put that liquid marshmallow on there. I'm gonna smush that in. 
Ooh. Look at that. I can hear Tom enjoying his, and I'm going to enjoy mine. Oh. <laughs> Give me small. <laughs> that is amazing. So guys, we've just had an amazing evening. Had some s'mores like you just saw. The steak was incredible. It's been really nice just sharing some beers around the fire as well, recording Wodesman. And yeah, big thank you to you, Tom. Really appreciate it. It's an amazing woodland. You should be proud of it as well, man. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> no worries. So guys, good night. I'll see you in the morning. And thanks for watching up until now. So good morning guys, had an amazing sleep, it was really windy and really wet so um, there's a bit of puddling on the Levu there, I had to move further back but I was good and dry and I slept an absolute treat so yeah big thank you again to Tom for having me here at this beautiful beautiful woodland, we're going to get the fire going now because the water completely washed it away so yeah we'll get on with that, have a bit of food and then pack everything up but that Levu keeps you so dry and comfy. Could be a nice breakfast. Thank you Sam and Tom for cooking up breakfast. All right, anytime bro. Thank you. So we've got beans, bacon, sausage and toasted bread. I mean, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Tom. Well, that was amazing. So guys, it's just about to start raining. So I've just got all my stuff packed up. I'm gonna put the ground sheet away and get that all into the car. So I'll catch up with you in a bit when I say goodbye to Tom and Sam. But like I said, and I keep saying thanks so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. So the rain is coming just as we're about to leave. I managed to get packed down and stuff into the car. So it's not uncommon for us to sign off in the rain, is it, Tom? No, it seems to be uh, <laughs> our usual turn of events. Yeah, definitely. Well, you're leaving this car park, aren't you? I am, yeah. I'm coming back here in a couple of days. So I'm going to leave this shelter up and uh, leave my fire pit here so I can use it when I come here with Emma at the weekend. Awesome. Yeah, it's um, gonna be nice for you. Yeah, just I won't film that one. It would just be uh, me and Emma and Emma's mum, I think. So, nice. yeah, yeah, just be a nice little time together. So, well, thank you so much for having me. And until then, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. See ya. Ciao.